It's an easy question on math with simulation, but asked in lot of good companies, including Google. Here we'll be getting two inputs, number of bottles initially given to us, which are filled and number of exchanges. It's a kind of operation that if I drink number of bottles, let's say number of bottles are FB and number of exchange bottle is let's say X. So if I drink X completely filled bottle, those will become empty and I can get that those X like empty bottles exchanged with one complete bottle. And in the end, we have to return how many water bottle we will be able to drink. So how can we tackle it? Initially, let's say we have number of filled bottle FB and we have number of empty bottles as EB empty bottles. Firstly, I'll be able to drink every single bottle and those N bottles will become empty. So these N bottle I will be able to drink and they will become empty bottles. And along with that, my answer will be updated to plus equal to N. Now the next step is from these N empty bottles, I can get every single collection of X bottle will be replaced with a filled bottle. So N by X number of filled bottle I will again get. And what are the remaining empty bottles? That will be n modulus x. So this is thing that we need to understand. So this is the main thing that we have to understand how many group of x size we can extract out from the empty bottles. Those will become filled bottles. So it will keep on going. Now I will just consume n by x bottles and those will be appended to an answer. So to generalize this question, we have number of filled bottles, number of empty bottles and our answer variable number of fills bottle were n in the num n in the starting it is zero i'll just consume all n numbers all n bottles answer will be incremented by n and those n bottle will become empty after that in the next iteration n by x x is the number of exchanges allowed to us that number of bottles i require to exchange it with one filled bottles so n by x filled bottle n modulus x empty bottle and this will keep on going while number of filled bottle is greater than zero. And I will keep on appending it to answer. And at the end, I will just uh, return whatever I have captured in the answer. Let me show you the code. Here I have done the same thing. Number of filled bottle, empty bottles and answer. And while the filled bottle is greater than zero, just capture it to the answer and let's and see how many exchanges I we can make to get uh, no more number of filled bottles. That's all. And what is the time complexity here? We have a linear time and we are not using an extra space so linear time a constant space solution and it will be submitted successfully thanks for watching guys bye bye